In the previous video, we created a template and clicked it correctly. So now you might be wondering, why do you not just drop this index HTML right into the templates folder? Why is there this extra folder in there? And I want to show you why that's the case. So remember that this is the better way to set it up with this nested folder structure. And let's take a look why that's the case. So we were thinking about maybe we just do a flat folder structure. How would that look like? And is there a problem with it? Assume that in our example Django project, we have three apps. So we have the projects app, the one we just created, and the templates folder inside of there. We have another app with the templates folder, and yet another app with the templates folder. What Django does is that in production, eventually, it collects all of those templates, everything that sits inside of a folder called templates, something that you define inside of this template directories, and puts it all together into one folder for all the templates. So this is not necessarily a problem yet. And this can work fine. So I have like index.html here, I have site.html there, and I have project list.html here. They all come together. Django is going to know which one to find and which one to render. However, there are some possible troubles with this flat folder structure, and that's why we want to avoid it. So we've created this index.html file, which is a very common name for an HTML file. Let's assume that all of our apps might have an index.html file. What happens in production, all of those files get pulled together into the big templates folder, and Django doesn't know which index.html files to render. So there's a problem here. Now this double folder structure that we created before is the solution to this issue. If inside of each of those folders we create another one that just has the same name as our app, so projects templates, and inside another projects folder, app2 templates, another folder called app2, etc. And then inside of there, we can have index.html files in each of them. It doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about double naming, which as long as your app is really small, this might not be a problem. But if the project grows and you have multiple apps in there, this could become a problem and you might just accidentally have the same named templates and then run into unexpected problems. If you have it set up like this with a double folder structure, then what Django does is it collects everything. It collects the folder as well as the files and puts them all together into this big templates folder. And that's great because then this makes the paths unambiguous and it's always clear and obvious for Django what is the right template to render. So. Eventually, you're going to end up with a folder structure like this, the big templates folder containing everything, containing a folder that's named after your app, and inside of there, the app-specific templates. And that gets a big green check mark because we're avoiding some problems. All right, so I hope this explains to you why we want to do this double folder structure. Like this, projects, templates, projects. It's essentially just to avoid some troubles that you could run into in the future. Let's start with good habits right from the beginning. OK, and that's it for this video. Next, we're going to change our HTML template a little bit and add bootstrap styling to it. See you in the next video.